What's good, homies? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory. Now, this episode, we are starting our sophomore season. And right off the bat, we have two games that are uh, very crucial for our rankings in the upcoming weeks. Now, uh, of course, this episode, we're going to be playing against number 10, Georgia. Now, this is the team that beat us last year because we weren't actually starting in that game. We didn't play at all in that game because we were we literally just got recruited, just got just got to Clemson University. We were still like a third string. So we didn't play. We lost. It prevented us. This is the only game that prevented us from being in the national championship. So um, this this year, we're hoping to get a little bit of a redemption. And then also, uh, number four, Virginia Tech is going to be playing against uh, number one, Notre Dame in South Bend. So, uh, or not South Bend. Is it really? Yeah, I think it's South Bend. That's where uh, Notre Dame plays. So uh, I'm not going to waste too much time. We're already, it's uh, just, I noticed this and I don't think I talked about it last time, but um, Lin, uh, Lin J. Dixon are one of our best receivers from last season. And I, we're both in the Heisman race. But other than that, like you still have Johnny Manziel on there, uh, Braxton Miller, Lamar Jackson. So I'm not going to waste any more time. We're just going to hop into this game against number 10, University of Georgia. Ooh, we're away as well. Okay, we gotta wear, you, you know we gotta wear those, uh, those those clean unis that I always love to wear in these big games. These ones right here. So like I said, ooh, this is a primetime game. We're away, it's nighttime. This is a loud stadium here in Athens. I believe we play in Athens. Tales never fails. You know, I should really keep like record of how many times that actually works. That's actually really effective. Now, they're able to score on their first possession of the game. Now, I don't expect this to be a walk in the park uh, compared to what the Georgia team last year looked like. They were unranked like in season four. That's how quickly they were unranked. So again, I don't expect uh, to see that same Georgia. And again, I also need to remember to slide and throw away and play all that smart jazz. But uh, again, I think this is going to be a completely different Georgia team from last year. Um, it's crazy how, how much the game changes in terms of like, for instance, Virginia Tech, I don't even think they're ranked last year. Oh, he's open. <laughs> Is that a touchdown? Oh, that's a touchdown already. Let's go. God, I forgot what we were talking about. Again, I uh, yeah, it was it's weird how this the recruiting system kind of works in this game. Um, Virginia Tech, I don't believe they're ranked at all last year. And now they're like one of the best teams in the country. So that blows my mind how that, that works. Uh, they're number four team in the country just after like, uh, it must have been a really fucking good like recruiting class if they were to jump up that many spots. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still coughing. I've been coughing since Christmas and it's the uh, beginning of February. So I've been sick for, for quite a bit. I'm on medication for it, but really hasn't done that much. It's honestly, it's almost made it worse in a way. I don't. I don't see how it's helping me really too much, but uh, the Super Bowl was last night, and I really wanted the Rams to win, along with everybody else in America wanted the Rams to win, because we're tired of the Patriots winning, we're tired of Tom Brady, as like the only way I want to see the Patriots win, the only reason I want to see the Patriots win is like for Tom, Br Tom, Br Tom, what? Tom Brady to like kiss his sons on the lips, which is like a meme now, so it's... It's kind of, it, it wasn't, we, we got neither. Actually, no, we got a kiss to Robert Kraft, the owner. So <laughs> I guess that one's good too, but I was really hoping for one of them sun kisses. But uh, again, I'm very upset that the, the Rams weren't able to win because like the Rams are basically consisting of a lot of former Broncos. Like for instance, uh, their defensive coordinator was um, the Broncos old defensive coordinator for a long time. Help us win Super Bowl 50, Wade Phillips. Uh, you have Aqib Tlaib, which is a, uh, who's a corner that played for the Broncos. I'm gonna say last season, th midway through the season, he, I think he, we traded him. But um, who else? C.J. Anderson. He got we we dropped him last. Uh, I think last year during the off season. Then he got picked up by the Panthers, and then he got dropped. And then apparently he was at another team in between that time between him joining the Rams and the uh, the Panthers. And for some reason, I feel like it's the Raiders, but I don't I don't think so, Chico. But uh, Let's see if we can not throw a pick here in our first game of the season and we're injured okay um we are down by four but our defense was able to stop them before them uh, before they actually did more damage to us and uh i was able to truck him but i wasn't able to i thought my guy was gonna get injured again okay so i don't want to do any run plays i want to do some uh some passive rooney plays but uh, i feel like the saints would have done a little bit better against the the old uh patriots in the super bowl but that's again none of my it's none of that's none of my say i have no say in that i mean they're staying with us the not a lot of teams could actually like stay uh pumping their offense at this high of a, of a rate that we are so i don't 
again, I, I can't really like say, oh, they're bad because they just like tackled me for zero yards. That's kind of upsetting. So I just noticed that uh, we're gonna have to get down the field in like two minutes. Uh, I don't have any issue with that considering we are a quick working offense, but Dixon's gonna be able to get us some yards and get out of bounds. Again, this guy's a god and he's a senior sadly. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, losing him here soon, but I have uh, some plans in mind, which I probably would keep it a secret if if my channel was a little bit bigger and I had more viewership, but I might I might like remember him and write down his name and get his stats before the final game of the season and put him in a Madden because that'd be kind of cool to to still be throwing balls to him in in the NFL. I think that'd just be really cool. And of course, I don't think I'm gonna play with the like the same NFL team like all 15 years or with how many ever years that I'm playing with this uh, Road to Glory, but just just for <coughs> just for some fun sake. Now that might be a touchdown, but Joseph does get knocked out of bounds. We are down by four, which again, it's I told you Georgia's not a team to mess with. Probably get uh, a little rushing play to the end zone. Somebody pick up that pylon over there. That's some bad juju right there. I don't like that. So we're gonna be like fake Ike. We're gonna get blitzed, of course, because who are these guys? Ooh, I'm faster than you. Oh boy. And we're given the ball again, and we're also gonna get it uh, at the beginning of the second half. Now, even if we, I'm, oh, what am I saying? When we, when, 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 when we do win this game, uh, we should get ranked higher than Ohio State. They only had to play Navy this week, and we had to play number 10 Georgia. Uh, I don't think that's uh, quite fair if they rank higher than us after this week. Now, if uh, Notre Dame also loses, that means that we could pop, like, pop up to a number, the number one spot next week, which is the first time that we were able to hit number one. Now, that should be in the end zone, because Joseph, I don't know who this guy is. He looks new, but he's, he's playing like he's been on the field his whole life. Now, as you can see, Georgia was able to, to get some points on the board before the end of the, the half. Now, usually I don't like pulling out the, this this play or this type of play, but if we can if we can uh, make some plays, actually let's do, let's make those guys block for me and those guys block for me. I don't have much time, so we're gonna have to hike the ball. Uh, of course, they didn't do what I wanted them to do. Ooh, but he might be faster, he might, he might be gone. He might be going, and he is! We were able to score a 75-yard touchdown with one second left to go in the second half. That is the fastest we've scored a touchdown, probably. Up there. It's up there. So now we're up by 10. We have the ball first at the second beginning of the second half. Uh, this is where we pull away, for sure. Now they're gonna they're gonna chase that boy, and he's gonna get that boy, and then I'm just gonna hopefully not fumble because I am a good boy and I am going to upgrade my carrying and injury rate. Uh not not upgrade our injury rate, that'd be bad. Our injury, every chance that I can get in the, in my whole little career. But it's kind of, if you think about it, it's like, we've been with this guy for like, of course we've been with him like when he was 18 or like 18, 17 in high school. So we played with him his high school season. And then just think about like in X amount of years, like when he's done with the NFL, like I'm when I'm retiring this character, maybe he's like 40, we'd be with him for like 22 years. That is insane to think. If we like retire this guy at 40, that's how many seasons we play in Madden, which honestly, I don't know if I have that endurance, but that's besides the point. That we'd be with him for a whole 22 years of his life and then just like sending this character off. That is so sad, but I don't like, for sure, a lot more people like NCAA more than Madden. So I'm gonna have to upload more NCAA after I have this guy go to the NFL, of course. So uh, after I do send this guy to college, I'm thinking about making a completely new road to glory. Now, of course, I'm gonna still be uploading my NFL guy because uh, two feet in bounds, I guess it's only one foot in college. I'm still gonna be uploading this guy, of course. I'm just sending him to the NFL. Uh, I'll try to like, for instance, right now I'm doing a video every other other day. I'm thinking about upgrading that, but I just don't know if I have the time. I barely have the time to do the schedule I'm doing right now, which is every other other day. So I was thinking like, maybe I could do it every other day, but again, we'll see. But it'll be every other other, other it'll be every other upload. I'll flip between the two. So for instance, uh, today is Monday, and I believe I'm uploading this video Wednesday. So then if I were doing my Madden season or my Madden, uh, sort of vert part of this, then that would be up 
uh, like Saturday. Now that might be a catch, but you know, he, after the, the the defender touches it, he just can't touch it. That'd be that'd be disrespectful. Now we have another read option. Let's see if we can do some dirty stuff with this. We've done a lot of stuff with dirty op or dirty options, yeah. But uh, I remember one of our first plays, like in our in the state playoffs, we. We rushed for like a 99-yard touchdown with one of the read options. If you don't remember that, that was probably a while ago. Uh, maybe like four or five episodes ago. That's just insane to think that we're blowing through this many games within like uh, an episode. Like I'm doing three games per episode now. And there's like, I was informed that there's like 11 games per season. So really we're like getting four the like seasons done in four episodes which is again a very quick rate and i don't think it's as fast like i don't want it to be that fast but it's kind of whatever and i've wanted to grind other games that's kind of why i've been a little bit behind with my videos why i'm saying like i don't have much time is because i'm trying to play like other games too that's fine that's fine that's fine and i'm injured of course <laughs> luckily we were able to bounce back off of that injury it was just it was just a broken rib cage that it's not much i've been through worse but a broken ribcage won't do crap to me. We're beating Georgia by a wide margin. That is, there's no way he's going to catch that. No, that was almost a peak, peak, a peak, a pick. That would have been terrible. So, uh, again, I'm going to, I enjoy loving, I enjoy loving these. What? I enjoy recording these and I enjoy uh, editing these and I enjoy uploading these. Of course, I don't enjoy throwing screen passes that I'm already, I already hate screen passes, but coach like it's like oh you gotta do the screen pass and then he happens to get zero yards or less on the play so i'm not a big fan of those but we gotta we gotta do what coach wants us to do now that's gonna be wide open if he can get the block or oh, juke him out joseph you are a dog yo he is the next dixon after dixon graduates but still this is a high scoring game clearly defense isn't like crap even though georgia's defense it's like a 99 overall that's the surprising part so I don't understand what in a bo binoculars is going to binoculars. Okay, now Dixon might be able to get it open, but no, he was not able to. That pass was swatted down, or it bumped into his head, really. It's not like that corner knew what he was doing. He was just kind of it's kind of just going with the flow. Now, we only have five touchdowns. I think the rest are rushing touchdowns by ourselves. And then I believe this uh, the backup has some touchdowns as well. Now, I'm going to make that just a regular streak route because I don't like those little slants over the middle of the field. Now, he should be open. <laughs> Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. Fumble time. Fumble time. Okay, no. Okay, that's sad. And just like that, Georgia's only down by eight. This game, like, yeah, we're having a great offensive game. Offensive game. But this game is still relatively close. All I need is an injury right now. Of course, this is a very loud stadium, but we don't get affected by that because we leveled up our character so much. We got to... I'm making a whole bunch of dumb passes this game, but we got to start making some of these smarter passes like that. That was just an absolutely... One of my smartest passes I've ever made in my life, in my career, really. Like, that was easily the type of passes I want to make. But four verticals, uh, usually that era is open. But it's third and ten, so we got to... It's, again, very stressful here on the field. We got to calm it down, cool it down a little bit, boys. It's getting kind of hot down here, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he's playing him closely, but that's just... That's a... <gasps> You almost caught that fourth and ten. Uh, we're gonna kick it just to be safe, but this game might be tied. It is tied. Oh boy! All right, we gotta play smart, boys. We gotta play very smart, or we are gonna blow this game. Now I'm gonna run and slide because a fumble would be terrible right now, or an injury. Considering I'm trying to lead us to the game, uh, a game winner here. Uh, we can. We had. They have all three timeouts. We have all three timeouts. Uh, I would say waste some time a little bit, but. They're going to use all three of their timeouts probably, but I'm going to, I'll try to waste some time as much as I can. Even if this game does go to OT, that won't be too bad because that'd, that'd be our first overtime game. Now, Kendrick able to get some yards on the left side. I'm just going to let that clock run, honestly. Let it tick tock down. That really doesn't have any effect on me. Okay. Did not expect this game to be too close, especially since we were up by like three scores. I was not actually playing, but that should be some yards for Overton. Let just let the let the clock tick tock down tick tock down there i don't have any time i mean i can waste all this time that i want all right one minute left in the game it's tied they probably won't call their timeouts Ooh, that he still got the foot in bounds but that was almost very bad for us i i wonder i don't know if we have the updated rosters for road to glory and i really don't know if you can get the updated rosters for road to glory because i i downloaded them but uh for instance 
there uh, are I mean I know these aren't supposed to be our wide receivers names and as well as like Johnny why isn't Johnny Manziel's name Johnny Manziel I think it's because I have the 2000 and like 18 2018 2019 rosters so maybe that's like why it's not working like that that'd make a lot of sense but uh, I wish that players weren't too greedy and they would just let us play these games because there's like the college players nowadays they're literally like okay we just want to be in a college game now that's gonna put us within the five yard line i wish we would have wasted more time wasted more time but that's besides the point now coach gave us the option of doing a running play but i'm gonna do just a regular pass play pass pass play pass play because we want to improve our stats now that's a touchdown we just we could have just let the game win touchdown right in there but they have 37 seconds to get down the field and with an offense like that and a defense like ours that's possible and we are able to come out of Athens, Georgia. Very close game. And apparently this is one of my best games that I've played in. Which really wasn't too close. I, I really didn't feel too much stress. But we were able to beat number 10 Georgia. 66 to 59 in a high scoring affair. And really that game should have been as close as it was. Oh we have moved up to number 1. That was exactly what I was predicting. I believe yeah. Uh, let's see what kind of happened in the top 25. Now Virginia Tech did crush. Uh, Notre Dame for the most part at South Bend 52 to 35 and then uh, of course Ohio State didn't really have that hard of an opponent so they didn't I mean they didn't move up at all so we are now the number one team in the country that is fantastic now is there any other teams that are here that surprise me no I'm gonna check the Heisman and we're not gonna I'm gonna check that like what we can upgrade so again not too much not too many surprises here so we're gonna move to the uh, the skills upgrade, just see if there's any injury ones. Uh, stamina injury, shebang. There you go, 89 stamina, 84 injury. We need to get that up. Any uh, carrying? No, there is not any carrying right now. But uh, we're just gonna go into the next game, which is actually this is our cupcake week, so this is where we're gonna just like throw touchdowns all day and break records. So of course we are home for this game. Oh, even though it is a rain game, we're about to we're about to blow the heck out of the Midwest or the the, the Tuskers, the FCS Midwest Tuckers. Now we're gonna kiss. Ki wow, I can't speak. That's insane, man. How nice is it to see that number one right next to Clemson? Oh my gosh. Now again, I really hope that we can just blow these guys out of the water. That's what I'm hoping. But no, we can't hold a block. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if this Dixon cheese can work just because this is a bad team. And he's really speedy boy. He might be able to catch that. And he does. And we're gonna be at like the one yard line. Something like that. Like the maybe the one inch yard line. That was that should have been a touchdown. If you know if my boy Dixon reached out, but I don't care. He just made a crazy big catch. Now we're gonna tell uh, Kendrick to block for us, and Richard's probably gonna get in the end zone here. Just uh, actually, no, I'm just gonna run it in. That's easier. So, S the SES team were about to clap back at us, but I think our defense was able to stop them. And, uh, I think it was a, a turnover because they they weren't able to, or they didn't get uh, three points at all. So, I that's very good of our defense to do that. That's very nice of our defense to do that. That's very, very neat. So, they're playing him closely on that left side. They're playing Dixon really closely. So, I'm gonna toss it up, even though he's not open. Okay, now I'm just getting way too cocky. This is bad. Of course, we have our 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 four verticals play that works a lot of times. Like right there, he's open. That's Dixon. He's a goat. Oh, he but he dropped it. Okay, we're going for it. I. This is just me doing stupid plays, and coach wants a run play, but I forgot that I can audible. So good thing I didn't choose anything else, because that would have been a waste of a a drive for the old Clemson Tigers. But we're gonna do four verticals, but this time we're not gonna like target Dixon. Probably just gonna be safe and get like Joseph when he crosses over. I'm gonna make it a slant though. But uh, I'll keep my eye on him. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass it to Joseph just to be safe. I was waiting for the Butterfingers to come get, come in because that's usually what happens. We get hella bu uh, hella Butterfingers. Why can't I say Butter, dude? My voice is just terrible right now. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have. Overton do that, but I'm gonna run it. <laughs> okay, that was probably one of the dumbest ideas I have ever had in my life. Okay, we're just gonna, well, I, you know, believe it or not, I was actually just holding back this whole game. Uh, 
I, I'm, I've only been using like 0.000% like 1% of my power so now I'll use like every percent of my power okay that was like this next play I'll start using every per percent of my power that's what I meant this is gonna be every percent of my power where's Dixon probably lined up on the left side here's every percent of my power Easy cash money, cash money, cash money, cash money. Can cat 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 cat. Okay, I didn't throw that far. That's my. That's not my fault. That is the wind's fault. That is the wind's fault. It couldn't. <laughs> we have had back to back fourth fourth downs. We are forty percent passing. I'm getting way too cocky since we blew up this team last year. Uh, I'm kind of mad at myself that this is as close as it is. Now I'm gonna run it, even though like that was. Oh, are you serious? You just got laid the flick out. And that was actually a big hit. I'm surprised we didn't fumble and or get an injury. I'm proud of my boy Savage. He is growing up to be a big boy, Savage. I told myself I was going to buy a Clemson jersey that has number 18 Savage on the back. Uh, I still haven't gotten around to that. I am I might do that in sometimes like not too far in the future. Of course, before we, we, uh, we're done with this character. But there you go. That's going to give us some extra yards. I was waiting for him to do that because that's usually what they do when they run out of the routes. And that's a touchdown. Oh, I know what it is. It's raining. That makes... Oh, my goodness. That actually makes perfect sense why we're not playing as good as we should be. Uh, yeah, if somebody could just, like, shut off the rain for me, that'd be fantastic. I, I'd be scoring a lot more. Dixon with the nice block downfield. If he could hold that block, which, of course, nobody could hold a block. Except for my, my gaudy boy, Dixon. This is supposed to be the play. Uh, Dixon should be open on the right side of the field. That's what I'm hoping. I'm going to make Overton go on a slant route so that gets rid of a defender that could possibly be down there. And let's see what we could do with Dixon. And touchdown. Throw up 21-0 to zero in the uh, second quarter, of course. We are not playing as good as we should be against this team. But that's fine, especially since Dixon's about to score right here. Unless I overthrow that, but I don't. And that is a 60-yard touchdown reception for Dixon. I have been grinding the heck out of Call of Duty recently. It's, uh, I literally have, I haven't grinded so much in Call of Duty, like, for Call of Duty in, like, so long. I've, I've gotten so many, like, tiers in terms of, uh, in terms of, like, the battle pass that's in there. I, I hit tier 100, like, a few weeks ago, and then there's another 25 tiers that you can get to get the cap pistol. Uh, I already did that. I finished that yesterday, and then I got Dark Matter Saturday night, and now I'm going for, like, a whole bunch of calling cards that uh, make my boy look swagalicious. Now that might be a forward pass. No, it was not, thank on oh, God. But if Joseph could get the blocks, he might just find the end zone anyways. Our defense could play phenomenal. We still might be able to get out of here before half. Still might be able to get out of here, like the beginning of the third quarter like we used to in our high school days. Man, our high school days was so good. Now I'm gonna throw that downfield, even though I was under pressure, but Dixie was almost able to catch it on the sideline. That would have been a pretty dang good catch for my boy Dixie Stick, even though I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, have you seen him play? He's literally a god. He's up for Heisman uh, for the second year in the row in a row. So again, I'm not surprised with this performance. He's just that good. Now that guy should be open 100%, 150%. But he dropped it because of the butterfingers. Are you serious, man? If you're gonna have butterfingers, get off this team. Wait, where's Fields? Yeah, I laid a whole bunch of crap on Fields last season, just saying like you have butterfingers. If you if you watched last episode, you heard me like lay lay him out in the gutter like I, that was a dumb pass Ooh, but no i threw it deep that might be a touchdown oh dude you can't be dropping these balls that might be a flag because it's supposed to be fourth down oh no it just kind of glitched a little bit but we're gonna go for it because that'd just be a waste of, of a possession uh, i'm gonna probably keep it safe and overton should be open down or over in the middle or on the left side i'm gonna send dixon deep just in case he gets open magically uh, and uh, honestly, what am I going to lose? Oh, I know what I'm going to lose. Oh, but I didn't lose it because Dixon's a god! I also got 2K recently, so if you want to see me play some 2K, hit your boy up. I already made a my career, and I went through, like, the whole, like, little storyline that you can go through with China and stuff. So, But, uh, I'm willing to do it again for, like, like a point guard or something, even though... You can't do rookie in that. You can't do rookie in the 2Ks, which I don't like that. Like, I remember I liked rookie mode in 2K17 because it was actually just really fun to pad, pad my stats. Pad my stats. Why does that sound weird? It was actually really fun to play on rookie in that game. But I didn't play much 2K last year. I played towards the end because I found, like, a really overpowered build for a small forward that where it made him, like, built like Kevin Durant, and it was super fun. So, um, 
he stops running. I guess it was because I was out of bounds, but he might have been able to get down the field with those little short legs. But I don't know. I'm willing to do it again. I don't like uh, having a small little point guard, or uh, like when I'm when I'm playing a pro difficulty because they literally don't make shit. Okay, that was stupid because I like stopped moving. It looks like my guy was injured there for a second. It's third and eighteen. I'm used to making these big plays though. Uh, and then back to 2K because like I jump all over the place in my videos. Like I literally have the intention span of a two-year-old. But uh, just when you when you're playing as like a rookie or not a rookie, when you're playing at on pro as like a like a six-foot point guard, you happen to make like no layups. So you really have to depend or like depend on getting open and shooting threes. So if I do make it, I'll probably just make a center that's not too tall because. Speed is also really crucial for for uh, uh, 2K, and I hate how if you make your guy anything over six foot, he's literally the slowest person ever <laughs> that's ever been recorded. Their speed, so I don't know. Oh, I should have been paying attention. Gosh darn it! So we could have scored a little bit, or scored at least one more touchdown. That like possibly could have taken us out of the game, 49 to zero, uh, but. I wasn't paying attention. That was completely my fault. If that corner stops moving, which by the time they got there, he was already like at that point, good enough to catch that ball. But we have another read option, and we are a goat at these. When we take the ball, at least I don't like giving the ball to my halfback because they can't do crap a Rooney, man. So that was a. Ooh. 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 Ugh. Thank you. Hey, thank you for like grabbing me and wrapping me around and like stopping me and holding me there and like making me feel comfy basically. That's what I would that's what I liked in that play was just feeling comfy in your arms when you pulled me back. Because you're just so mad at me. You're just like, I just I just need to grab you. Oh, I'm going for it. I don't care. I <laughs> dude, boy, I all I need is literally like one touchdown to end this game. I don't know what I'm I just need like a few good plays and uh, this game's over. Now, Overton should be open, playing him tightly, and, uh, yeah, he's open. That should, unless I overthrow it, which I don't, but that could have been dropped really easily, so I'm happy that Overton didn't have the butterfingers right there like he did a little bit earlier in the game. Fields should possibly be open with a slant route. I'm not going to give him that deep route because he probably won't get open in that, so Fields probably going to be open right side of the field, but don't worry, this is the receiver that we don't like too well. And if he can break a tackle, he'll be in the end zone. And he didn't need to. He's already in the end zone. And I believe they're going to take us out for the rest of the game unless uh, this FCS team manages to score a lot, which I don't see it happening. And, yeah, we can't blow them out because – or we can't shut them out because that's that wouldn't be the NCAA way of doing things. So we beat uh, FCS Midwest 63-14. to 14. So we had a bye week three, and we come back still ranked atop of the leaderboards. Now let's check out these – these XP things that we can get. Now, I don't see anything too special here. Unless uh, we have carrying, of course. Upgrade that to, it's a 78, but 78 is something that we could use. Now, let's check out what the rankings are looking like just for the other teams. Now, Virginia Tech is behind us, but they are playing at number three, Ohio State. So, one of them is going to be knocked out here uh, this week. So, that, let's see. We'll see after this game. What, uh, what's going on now? Notre Dame's also going to be playing at Michigan, so one of them is going to be knocked down further as well. And hopefully Michigan State can like bounce back and do all that stuff because I'm a Michigan State fan and I love them. Now we're going to check out the Heisman race, even though we were gone for a week. We need to see where we stand. So let's see. We're still atop of the leaderboards. Of course, my boy uh, Lynn J. Dixon did drop down. I'm assuming it's Jake Fromm. And uh, so I guess it's kind of updated in a way, but... We're just gonna hop into our game against Central Michigan. So we're gonna get right into it. All right, so we're home for this game, of course, because this isn't really a good team. Now they're gonna choose Tails because Tails never fails. And it works for them too, so they're gonna uh, choose to kick it. And we're gonna choose to defend that away. Now, I say this with a lot of games, but I'm not too, not too scared of this game. This game shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Neither was that Maryland game last year, but we made it hard on ourselves. Oh my gosh, that was a perfectly placed pass by me. Um, it got placed a lot better than I expected it to. I, I told it the ball to go forward. Yeah, I like yelled at the ball and told it to go forward. But I told the ball to go a little bit downfield. I didn't think it was going to go that much downfield, but that's better than what I had in mind. So we are now first and 10. I'm going to throw that out just to be safe because that guy, what is it? Is it, is it, 
what's it called? Uh, grounding, intentional grounding. What is it? I'm assuming that's what it was because uh, I was throwing it away, and that's usually what the what the uh, call is if you try to throw it away. Now, Overton might be open down the field if unless like that one safety rotates over. But that's a very fast corner. That is a very fast corner, and we get picked off. That is muy bad. <gasps> Is there time? No! 81! I wanted to get another fumble! You know what? Maybe that's what it is. Me saying, uh, I'm not scared for this game, or I'm not scared about uh, this game, or basically I just said the same thing, but that's what's making me lose. Now, Dixon should be in the end zone this play unless I overthrow it, which I don't, but he did that little turnaround thing. Now, that's slightly my fault because I underthrew it, but we are still with in the red zone i believe or he might be like right outside of the red the the red zone so we're gonna hopefully get in the end zone right here unless dixon gets knocked over or just stops running in general that's my favorite that's what my favorite personally when uh players just stop running in the middle of the play i love when that happens so we're gonna get uh, probably who is this overton i believe on the right side or left side but he's gonna be nearly over the middle when we get in the, in the end zone so we got the ball back. Central Michigan wasn't able to score, but we're gonna get Dixon in the end zone right here. Uh, no, they had that. They had that guy rotate over, and I didn't expect him to do that. Oh, Dixon taking one for the team and just like sh going straight for the feet. Gotta love that man. That's why he is gonna be a future Hall of Famer along with myself. I didn't think about that too. We're gonna be a Hall of Famer someday. Kind of crazy to to walk our guy through that long journey of playing through high school and. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot. what a pass interference. Oh, that looked like I was holding my wrist for a second. Okay, second to ten. There's just nobody open that play, which is uh, why we um, or we had to throw it away. There's just nobody open. Now, Dixon should be open and possibly in the end zone. Yeah. Hey, school. Uh, we got the school record. Or our J uh, Dixon got the school record. Why, why am I terrible at reading them? New school record. He has the most records in Clemson history. When I said most records in Clemson history, I meant most yards in Clemson history. Now, we're going to completely make this impossible for anybody to catch up this season. We are literally going to give him another 1,000 yards before the end of this season. So, that is the goal for us because Dixon's just a god. And then I believe... I think I wish I would have like picked I don't think we had any freshman wide receivers but I really should have like picked him out and be like okay you are my target you are my like number one target I'm going to get you the most touchdowns you have ever seen but it's whatever I guess uh, I probably could have thrown it to B what are you doing what are you doing you're lost slide slide I just noticed we managed to miss the PAT I'm hoping we can hike this ball before the end of this half Okay, never mind. And when I said quarter, or I mean, when I said half, I meant quarter. I want to snap the ball before the end of this quarter. Uh, you really don't have to, but that's just, I, I like doing that. I like keeping the game going. And uh, almost pick. Nice. We've kind of been playing quite stupid this episode. After that Georgia game, I think uh, I, I've been playing a lot, a lot more stupid. Now, he's going to push us out of bounds nicely and neatly without any sort of grabbing and pulling down and any mean things that could possibly make the ball come out of my possession. We're going to make we're gonna make Kendrick block for us because I just have a weird feeling that that guy on the left side is going to blitz. Nope, he's not, but that was a terrible play by that corner. So we're leading 20-7. to seven. Uh, Beginning of, or not really the beginning, but early parts of the the second quarter now that should be a touchdown unless i overthrow it which i don't think i will oh it was almost it was very close but that was a nice little dive he did there central michigan was able to strike back now like i said i believe one episode ago or two episodes ago this is one of my more swagatific plays the old triple option now toss and i don't think that was the best option for oh my god oh kendrick basically annihilating two big boy linemen two grown men just throwing them to the ground like they're they're dog crap and then Getting tackled by the third guy, but that we don't have to talk about that. The media doesn't talk about all that stuff sometimes. Now we're gonna have you block, we're gonna have you block, and then we're gonna have Dixon go deep on a fade so he gets further away from that little safety out there as much as we can. And I'm gonna throw it to you because Dixon just wasn't open and that's safe. We have another read option. I feel like this is gonna be going to the halfback. No. Okay, so they're they don't know how to But number 31 there. Who are you, 31? I'm curious. 31, who are you? Where are you at? Where are you at, buddy? 
Uh, he's not on the field. He got off. He's like, man, I just don't want to get yelled at by the Nicholas Savage. I just can't do it, man. He, he got off the field so quick. He's like, I, I just hate getting yelled at, man. But he's going to be open, and if I don't overthrow it. <laughs> you know, I always I always seem to overthrow it in times that I, I don't, I, I can't, I don't, I don't, I cannot afford to overthrow it. I should have. Uh, oh, my God. We're going to have a lot of rushing here. If we can get a good cut, which we weren't able to get a good cut, but we were able to get a lot of rushing guards. Now, we have 79 rushing guards this game. We're bringing our legs back in the game. I believe we're 5 for, yeah, 5 for 73. So, I don't remember having our halfback run because uh, I do. I usually don't give to the halfback. That's just not my selfish self being that way. Now, now, we might be on the end zone on a pretty good run play. 33-yard touchdown. Central Michigan was able to score. And believe it or not, the, the Central Michigan, like their mascot, their name, they're the Chippewas. I don't know what a Chippewa is. Sounds like some type of like Indian. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing it downfield. I don't know if he's open. Now that looks like a little bit of pass interference. If, to, to me, some defensive pass interference. I mean, he could have caught that ball the second time. That was very much so catchable. I don't know how I feel about that. That leaves a weird taste in my mouth. Now I'm just going to leave two receivers on this play. And... Basically, uh, have like three defenders. So if anything, hopefully, if one of them is not open, at least one of them is not open. Uh, we're gonna have to throw it out or run, which looks like we're running. And if he didn't pull me, I could have like tiptoed to that left side of the field and then like came out in the middle. Which of course he has to like grab my side, spin me around, make me feel comfy. I just love when they do that, man. It's just makes me very happy, makes me feel warm and cuddly inside. But Johnson, I think that's Johnson. He's going all the way deep. He's going all the way deep. All the way deep, boy. Oh, boy. Look at him. A king. That's what he is. Denzel Johnson. Should I be able to find Bryant in the end zone? I just changed his route because I like this route better for for being in the red zone. And, yeah, touchdown. They had, at some point here, they're going to look at us and be like, this is the best quarterback of all time. This is the best athlete of all time. I saw a poll after Tom Brady got his sixth ring. Who is the greatest athlete of all time? First of all, they had Michael Jordan and Tom Brady there. And uh, we're injured. Has to be us, right? Now, we were out for quite a bit of time, but the last time, like, last two times we've been injured, our defense slash offense is able to put us into some uh, very good field position to, to score right on the next play. All right, so I think that's what coaches are just going to want us to do. He's just going to want us to run out the clock, which, uh, if Kendrick is a dirty boy, I don't know if he's a freshman because I don't remember him from last year. So, uh, maybe it was just the second, like, a. Uh, a backup but I don't remember him from last year so I think I'm just gonna run off the clock and I'll like leave in some eventful moments if there are really any there won't be so we're able to win that game 62 to 35 and we're gonna go into the next week and kind of see what happened between that Virginia Tech Ohio State game and then we're gonna end off the episode there so we dropped down to number two why is this let's see why this is now it had to be Ohio State winning I'm assuming uh, or no, Virginia Tech. I forgot Virginia Tech was actually the higher ranked one. Now we dropped down to the number two spot. Now here's what I'm scared about this season. Uh, if we, if one of these teams like that are in the ACC do not like become good, actually we might play, we might play Virginia Tech. One second, let me check our, our upcoming schedule. But if I'm correct, I don't think we play anybody too serious. Hopefully we, we play Virginia Tech. Number two, 12 Terps. Okay, no, we don't. Now, if we need South Carolina, really, we just need some of these ranked teams to stay where they are. If they can, go up. We need Maryland to stay here uh, just for next episode. That's all I care about. Uh, just because if we're playing nobody throughout the season, and, like, for instance, Alabama's getting wins over, I don't know, like, number 15. Uh, I, 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 I can't. Come on, give me an SEC team. Wait, there's literally, okay, LSU, number 15 LSU. And they're actually number 15. Uh, they're probably going to like rank higher than us or like jump us if we're playing like another team that's unranked. So that's what I was kind of scared about, but I didn't want to say it because I wasn't sure. Uh, but hopefully that's not how the cookie crumbles. That'd be kind of crappy. So again, we'll see how this, this works out. Now, Virginia Tech barely won. That's the kind of part I'm upset with. Maybe they have more points than us. That's why I guess that could be it. But uh, again, we'll, we'll see how things go. Let's check the Heisman race uh, because that's what we like doing every week. See where we're at. We're going to sit atop of that, of course. And then we're going to go to the skills upgrade and see if we can upgrade any of these stamina injuries. Wow, that is a that would give me 99 every 99 overall 
for my throw accuracy my throw power but really we can't we can't afford that but it's just because this is speed and acceleration we gotta be caught we, we're gonna be that 99 speed soon 99 speed at a quarterback like are you serious that's not even fair so we start off the season three and oh we do jump up to the number one spot but drop down to the number two spot uh shortly after so uh next episode we'll be playing against fsu uh, we'll have our bye week uh the terps and then at wake forest so if you guys enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, it's all I got. See ya. That's all, folks.